Hi, my name is Robin Wong. In this video, I want to talk about shooting time-lapse with your Olympus OMD camera. Since the release of the EM1 in 2013, every single Olympus OMD camera has the capability to shoot time-lapse built into the camera. The camera allows you to shoot up to 999 shots with adjustable intervals between each shot and the camera allows you to merge all the files taken into a single movie file up to 4K resolution. All this done within the camera with a click of a shutter button. Although I personally don't do a lot of time-lapse photography, I do admit that in some situations, time-lapse can be very, very fun. Let's do this. Before we dive into it, allow me to say that I'm not a time-lapse expert. I don't do a lot of time-lapse photography, but a lot of people have been asking me, Robin, where is the time-lapse setting in my Olympus OMD camera? Olympus has successfully hidden the time-lapse setting in the camera that is so difficult to find. Furthermore, there is no assignable shortcut buttons to quickly assess the time-lapse function. Now, before I tell you how to activate the time-lapse in your camera, there are some things that you must prepare before a time-lapse shoot. If you are an experienced time-lapse photographer, of course, all the information that I'm sharing here, you probably already know. For those who wanted to try time-lapse shooting for the first time using their Olympus OMD cameras, please take note of these few items. First, make sure that your battery is fully charged and make sure that you also have some spares if you want to do extended hours of time-lapse shooting. Secondly, make sure that you have enough SD card storage. If you have already transferred all your images out from your SD card before the shoot, make sure that you have a fresh formatted card before the start of the time-lapse shooting. Having sufficient memory and battery life, these two things are extremely important to ensure interruption-free and frustration-free time-lapse shooting experience. And finally, you do need to have a sturdy tripod. Don't get the tripod that is so cheap and so flimsy that once a cat passes by your tripod and accidentally kicks your tripod over and the entire tripod and the camera falls down onto the ground. I cannot tell you how many of my friends, more than my fingers can count, that have the cameras destroyed due to accidental fall when they use very cheap and lousy tripods. So guys, your Olympus cameras and lenses are precious. Please don't use cheap tripods. Now that we have the preliminaries out of the way, let's have some fun shooting time-lapse. Now that we have some preliminaries out of the way, let's see how to activate time-lapse setting in your Olympus OMD camera. Now, where is the time-lapse setting in the Olympus OMD camera? Go to menu, go to camera number one, the first tab, 
and go to the last item here adjust setting for sequential shooting self timer shooting and interval shooting go in and you will see interval shooting and time lapse currently it is off once you go in here there's off and on now i don't really know why only person want to hide this so deep buried into layers and layers of menu you see this on and there's an arrow at the side go in furthermore and you have a whole list of functions to adjust here I will go to 999 frames. This is the maximum number of images that you can capture with built-in camera's time-lapse function. I would normally set the starting time to about just one to two seconds. And interval length, you can customize the interval between each shot. It can be just one second or a few seconds or how many minutes to hours, right? You can customize to how many hours between each shot. But I'll just leave it to zero and just do it every one second interval. Then the camera allows you to do time-lapse movie in camera. I'll turn this on. Then going to movie settings, I'll go to 4K and the maximum frame rate is actually five frames. Once this is already activated, just to make sure that I've turned it on. Nope, you have to turn it on, make sure that this is on and your time-lapse is activated and you have the, this particular icon at the top of your screen here that says that the time-lapse is ready and now I will start shooting. To cancel your time-lapse, all you have to do is just press menu. So now the time-lapse is already cancelled. Here are some pro tips that I can share with you from my limited experience doing time-lapse photography. First, you can use the silent shutter or the electronic shutter to preserve the life of the mechanical shutter of your camera. The mechanical shutter of your camera has a life limit. Therefore, the more you shoot with the mechanical shutter, the faster it will fail. By using the electronic shutter or the silent shutter, you basically do not engage the mechanical parts of the shutter itself. Thus, this will prolong the life of your camera's shutter. Secondly, if you are shooting subjects that are far away, such as landscapes or buildings, then it may be wise to use manual focus and set the focus to infinity. While generally the autofocus of your Olympus 1D camera is extremely reliable, there are times that the lens will decide to hunt a little bit and that hunting will show in the final time-lapse photograph that you have taken. The camera generally will record images in full resolution and you will have all the images in RAW if you choose to shoot in RAW and you can further process your photographs before you merge them into a movie yourself in your computer if you choose to do so. However, for simplicity's sake, I would generally use the in-camera function to automatically generate a 4K time-lapse movie for me. Also, the 4K movie that's generated from the camera is five frames per second, and the 4K movie will look a little bit choppy so to make the 4K movie look a lot smoother, you can speed up the playback frame rate of your 4K time-lapse movie in your video editing software.
that's all I have to share on time-lapse shooting on Olympus OMB camera. If you have not done time-lapse shooting with your camera, I hope that this video is useful for you. If you have any other tips on time-lapse shooting with Olympus OMD, please share them in the comments below. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to this channel and I will definitely do more videos like this sharing tips and tricks on using the Olympus OMD camera and about photography in general. Until the next one, please remember to go out and take more photographs and hopefully you do some time-lapse photography as well. Bye-bye.